Welcome to another tutorial by Video Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how to bring up guides and grid lines in PowerPoint for easy editing. If you want to view the guides or the grid lines, all you have to do is go to the View tab and click on Grid Lines and Guides. In this tutorial, I'm going to go into a little bit of details on how to use guides and grid lines and how to move them around, how to customize them, how to change their color and the spacing. Let's go ahead and talk about guides first. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the grid line just so that the guides are a little bit easy to see. Now when you check the guides option, PowerPoint is going to go ahead and add two guides, one vertical, one horizontal. And what you can do is you can move these guides around. You'll notice that when I click on the mouse and I start dragging the guide, there's an indicator that comes up that tells me exactly how far I am from the center of the page. So if I want to move one inch to the left, I can go ahead and drag this guide until it reads one and I can just let go. So now the question is, how do we add more guides to our slide? Well, that's easy. All you have to do is uh, hit down the control key, click and start dragging. When you leave the mouse, you'll notice that another guide is going to appear in your slide, right? Now, there are a couple of things you can do with this guide. You can go ahead and change its color. You can right click, click on color, and I'm just going to change this to a bright orange. Another way to add a guide is to right click in this area, go to guides and click on add a vertical guide or a horizontal guide. We've already added a vertical guide. So this time I'm going to go ahead and add a horizontal guide and you'll notice that the guide appears right here. There was already a guide at zero. So this is the new one that's been added. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this guide. Now you can repeat this process and you can right click and continue to click on add horizontal guides and it will go ahead and keep on doing that. But there's no automated way where you can add 10 guides at the same time with just one click of a button. If you want objects to snap and you want to properly align the objects that you draw in PowerPoint, what you have to use are grid lines, not guides. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of the guides that we've created. Two ways you can do that. You can right click on a guide and click on delete, or you can hold it down and then just drag it out of the paper out of the view. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to drag it all the way to the bottom and it disappears. So let's go ahead and add an object to this slide. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go ahead and add a rectangle. Now you'll notice that the rectangle is going to snap to these guides. But then again, this is not the only point that it's snapping to. It's snapping every eighth of an inch on my paper. And how do I know that? Because the object is going to stick to the grid lines and not the guides. Because this object is snapping to the grid lines, which are not visible right now. But let's go ahead and bring those up. So if I go to the view tab and click on grid lines, you'll notice some grids right here. Well, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold down the control key and then zoom in. So let's go ahead and start simple. I'm going to delete this object and I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow right here, which is going to bring up the grid and the guides settings panel. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and change the spacing of my grid to one inch. Now what you'll notice is that PowerPoint has set up grid lines at every inch on the page. If I start drawing now, you'll notice that I'm going to end up with a square, which is one inch by one inch in size, because that is the spacing of my grid line. I can obviously extend this, make it a rectangle. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete this object and I'm going to open up the grid lines panel one more time. And this time I'm going to change the spacing to half an inch on the page. If I click on OK now, now I can go ahead and add a square that is half inch by half inch because this is the spacing that I've set in my view panel. Now I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out by holding the control key and using the mouse wheel. Or the alternative is that you can click on the fit to window button and uh, you can see the entire slide. So just a quick tip, if you're going to use guides, use them as reference points in your slide. Don't use them so that the objects that you're going to draw will stick to them. Well, they will stick to them no matter what. 
but the thing that really defines the snapping on your slide are the grid lines and not the guides. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I will try to answer them.